Hey guys, Subs for Shorts here. And in this video, we'll be looking at setting up the path for cases. So the path it will be linked to our status. So like we, we, we have new, in progress and closed and so on. And we want to have this as a path. So I will be showing how to create a custom path in Salesforce. So for this, we'll have to go to setup. And in setup, we can search for path. we're just waiting for that to load and if you don't have this enabled to waste it with minus already enabled so you can see here we have disable path but if you haven't enabled it yet there will be an option for you to enable path and after that then you will see new path so i'm going to click on new path for here for this this will be the path setup so i'm going to call this the case path and for the object, we will use case record type. Use just the master. You can select your specific record type if you need. And in the pick list, we want its status. Okay, and here we can see here's the different fields that it will go to. So you can add or update any of these fields if you'd like. I'm just gonna go on and then activate my path, enable celebrations because it just looks nice. And closed celebrate, it will be the celebration will be on placed. Uh, celebration frequency, it will should always celebrate on placed. Okay, and here we can see it's active and we have our case path. So let me go to cases back. So oh, maybe the last thing to add here would go to edit page. Just to bring our path into our screen. Okay, our page just loads here. Okay, it's, it's getting along. Let's see. Then I can add my path here to the top. Boom. Just waiting for it to like to make sure it, everything is set up properly. Okay, everything's looking good there. Eh? So we can click, we can save this. Okay, let me just activate this page as well. It should already be activated. I mean, make it the org default, that's all good. Okay, so let's see when I go out here. Now our path should be on our screen.